eyes and the other end here. Okay, she can go ahead and reattach it once she's... We should have no air in the system, or virtually no air in the system. Alright, just to demonstrate then the, the speed of injection of this, we will get a container and we will demonstrate the speed of injection of the semen. We need to inject the semen after this tube is passed up 90 centimeters into the cow, which uh, you will see demonstrated on another part of this tape. We'll go ahead and inject the semen very slowly. So we will assume that this is 90 centimeters up the canal and has been pushed gently into place. It's up against the cervix and um, we will go ahead and show you the, what happens when we inject. You'll see what, see this, okay. That's, that's fine. Just at that steady, slow speed there. And this, this red uh, polyethylene covered head will hold the semen in a pool at the cervix, as would the penis of the bull elephant. And all right, now when we reach the end of the injection of the semen, we're going to clamp it again with the fingers, pull the syringe off, and fill it with air, syringe with air. Okay, and we're going to inject about 40 cc's of air. And you'll see what happens. Go ahead. This would now mostly be buffer. And you can see that we are still getting a flow. That's good. Stop. After that, we wait a moment, and then we will slowly pull the, the end of the tubing out, and we have completed our insemination for that day to make. Is that I didn't wrap this right up to the top level of the tubing, and I think that I probably should have. There's a little bit too much tube sticking out, and we don't want to bump or irritate the canal as we pass this. So it would have been better had I been able to have this wrapped evenly with the end of the large tubing. So try to get your bet wrapped uh, bubble tubing right even with the, the top of the large tubing. So the only projection really will be this, this little nub of smaller tubing. And I think you'll have a, this would work and it would be okay, but it would be better if you had it just that much further advanced so that it was actually even the top of the red was even with the top of the large tube. Finished product should look like this. Many treats are provided for the elephant during this procedure. The cow is brought in and then chained by a front leg chain. Scrub for the metadata solution and then dry it off.
this is what it would look like using the colonoscope going up into the canal. Right now we're adjusting light levels. going up there towards the right, just where the pointer is at now. That was at about 70 centimeters. hitting up against the mucosa. mucus. Dr. Jacob V. Chiran, a specialist in tranquilization of animals, a professor at the College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences in Kerala. He is the chief architect behind popularizing the art of immobilization of animals in India. With the rare distinction of tranquilizing 200 elephants and other animals up his sleeve, he has earned a niche for himself in the wildlife scenario in the country. Kerala is a land of elephants and it's, uh, elephants sometimes do run wild. They go amok and earlier the practice was to shoot down elephants. But now since uh, Jacob Chirin has come in the field, we, he captures elephants with his gun anesthetizing them and then putting them back into service. This is a great service he does. Though the science of tranquilizing wild as well as captive animals has been in practice in Western and African countries for a long time now, the concept has gained recognition in India only recently. Dr. Chiran could you please tell us what is tranquilization and why do we need it? Tranquilization literally means only peace of mind. But in the case of animals, when we say tranquilization, it is uh, strictly speaking a drug immobilization. We immobilize the animal, that is stop the moment. We, we bring the animal incapable of moving about by administering a drug from a distance. And that is necessary because, especially in Kerala, we keep a number of domestic elephants or captive elephants that are used for different purposes. 
ceremonial purposes, cultural processions, timber hauling, like that. There is a marked difference in the uh, tranquilization of wild and captive elephants because in the case of captive elephants, when they are random, you don't get uh, kungis, uh, you cannot plan, and if you tranquilize them to such an extent and make them to lie down.